For the first time in series history, MLB The Show is heading to Xbox with MLB The Show 21. When the game drops on April 20th for the Xbox Series X and Xbox One, it'll mark the first time since MLB 2K13 that a AAA baseball game appeared on an Xbox console. Because of the new system release, there are no doubt thousands of baseball fans being introduced to MLB The Show for the very first time. And luckily for you, SGO is here to fill you in on all the things you need to know about MLB The Show 21 and the franchise as a whole before you make that initial boot. Now before getting into this, this is more of a high level beginner's information video for those who've never played MLB The Show before. So if you're a veteran player, share this video with your friends who are excited to finally get into the game. And if you haven't already, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to Sports Gamers Online for more great sports gaming content daily. Sports Gamers Online is the number one source for the sports gamer. Now when it comes to playing online, there's no bigger mode in MLB The Show than Diamond Dynasty. The game's take on the collectible card game, Diamond Dynasty has you create a team with a custom logo, jersey, and a next-gen console stadium. With your new team, you'll go about completing various challenges, events, and modes to build the best team possible. It won't be a mode for everyone, definitely, but there's plenty there whether you want to face off against other players or stick to offline team building. The best part is that you can unlock everything in the mode without spending a dime. Though hopefully with MLB 21, they make it a bit easier for players to unlock the best cards and players. That said, as someone who's never been a fan of collectible card game and ultimate team-like modes, Diamond Dynasty is the one where I find myself trying to get into and actually getting into some each and every year that the game comes out. Next, let's stick with online and talk about online gameplay itself. Now, one of the things most MLB The Show players will tell you is that there will be times that the gameplay doesn't really make sense online, specifically when it comes to either making contact with a pitch or when you're out fielding. Sometimes you'll think the ball made it past a fielder, but as you try to extend a single into a double, you'll quickly see the game catch up and notice that it was played properly leading to an out at second. Other times you'll see the game act as though a throw to catch a runner stealing was on time, only for the sink of the game to lead to it being a bit late and the runner being safe. When you make contact on a swing, you'll notice that things will pause or skip for a moment in order to sync up between the players. It's really annoying at first, but eventually you get used to it and just expect it. Hopefully though, as we move forward with Sony San Diego taking advantage of Microsoft Azure servers for the series, we'll see that kind of skipping and delay become a thing of the past. And when that ultimately happens, it'll only make playing online in MLB The Show more fun and enjoyable for everyone involved, especially knowing that cross-platform play between Xbox and PlayStation players is coming to the game this year. Next up, let's talk about a couple single-player modes, March to October and Franchise. In MLB The Show 21, you're going to see these two modes. While on the surface they seem pretty similar, they are targeted to a completely different type of player. Franchise mode is exactly what you think it is. You're going to pick a team, manage every aspect of the day-to-day -day operations, including relocation if you want it, and work to turn them into a perennial World Series contender. It's a mode geared to those in it for the long haul with their team as far as roster management, drafting, prospect management, and player development. March to October, on the other hand, is a much more streamlined experience. The mode is a single season offering that has you take your team, manage it like you would in a franchise on the roster level, and make a run for a World Series title. Aside from the single season feature, March to October has you play solely through key games and moments, allowing quicker completions from start to finish. And when it's all said and done and you've made it through the year, you can then bring that team over into franchise mode to continue building them up how you want. It's definitely a mode worth checking out, especially if you want to unlock more rewards you can use in other modes within MLB The Show, and it also makes trying out new teams and getting a feel for the systems a lot more easily accessible for every type of player. Now moving on to the biggest single player mode in the game, Road to the Show, you'll notice that it's a true RPG in every sense of the word. You start as a hopeful prospect before the MLB draft and work your way through the minor league systems with the goal of becoming a Hall of Fame player. One big thing you need to know is that this isn't a fast-paced, become a major star overnight type of mode. Road to the Show has historically been a mode for those looking to spend the time building a legacy with a player. You'll build relationships off the field, take part in various trainings, and more. New for MLB The Show 21, Road to the Show features a number of changes for players. 
The first being that a new narrative will be coming to the mode. This narrative will apparently be a dynamic story that changes based upon your choices, play on the field, and various actions. Sony San Diego claims that there are 180 episodes that can come up over the course of your career, and these episodes feature 13 different MLB voices and personalities. For next-gen players of the game, the episodes in the mode will be full motion video. Those on PS4 and Xbox One will have the episodes in podcast format only. You'll also have the ability to make your player a two-way player for the very first time. That means you'll be able to have a player that can both pitch and play in the field should you so choose. It'll add a nice twist to your career that'll make decisions about what you do more important than ever. And lastly, you're able to bring your Road to the Show player into Diamond Dynasty directly from the mode for the very first time. This new ball player feature is only available to transport from Road to the Show to Diamond Dynasty, though my guess is in the future you'll be able to also take your fully created and developed Road to the Show player into franchise mode to put on the team of your choice. Next up, let's talk about the game's rosters. With so many players in the MLB system, getting full and accurate rosters can be extremely tough for the team. MLB The Show did introduce full minor league rosters for last year's game, but it still wasn't as flushed out as it could be simply due to the massive amount of players. Luckily, if you want realistic and accurate rosters, Raiden Rosters and his team do an amazing job at making updates for players. These rosters can be downloaded by anyone and used in franchise and other modes with no issues whatsoever. It's a great way to have the MLB experience that you want without any sort of compromise. Now Ryan Rosters and the rest of his team hasn't announced plans just yet for Xbox rosters for MLB The Show 21, but I'd fully expect them to have that covered for players as well after the season gets started and things move forward. And the last thing we're going to talk about right now is online franchise or custom leagues. One thing that everyone wants to talk about is an online franchise mode. Well in MLB The Show 20, a bare bones version of that was introduced called custom leagues. Basically, you're able to join a league with other players, no CPU at all, and face each other in a set amount of games per season. In the leagues, you're able to set things like the amount of teams, the amount of games you're going to play, and the amount of teams making it to the playoffs. And one of the coolest things about it is for those who do love Diamond Dynasty, you can bring your cards in with various player caps and team caps to build your rosters and make sure nothing's super OP, or if you really want to see who's the best of the best with nothing but rosters of 99 overall players, you can do that too with friends. With custom leagues, there's no real franchise mode aspects to it, but it is the closest thing we have right now. Though there is the possibility of a full online franchise coming back to the series in the near future. And that's where we're going to wrap up right now on what newcomers to MLB The Show 21 on Xbox need to know before ever getting into the game. Of course, there's plenty of more to talk about with MLB 21 and what you should know about the series. But right now, there's still just not enough new information about some of the modes people have the biggest questions about. As more of that information is announced, we'll have full coverage both here on the channel and on our website at sportsgamersonline.com. So be sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you never miss any of the latest MLB The Show news and content. And if you're new to the MLB The Show series, let us know what questions you want answered in the comment section below, and we'll be sure to get to them in the next Need to Know installment right here at Sports Gamers Online.